Welcome back everybody to the morning extra. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, Cincinnati Magazine is here in studio to give us some ideas on what to do around the city for Valentine's Day. Amanda is here to talk about their new Cincinnati love and romance in the Queen City edition. So uh, thanks so much for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I was flipping through this in the break and I was asking you, I was like, okay, so what are some of the hot spots that people are going to visit for Valentine's Day? What is your favorite place? Oh, Oh, we've got lots of favorite places. Okay. My husband and I like to go out to dinner. So I mean, like we like the dining scene in Cincinnati. Yeah, we've got options in this issue that take you everywhere from first date to a popping the question kind of scenario. Oh, wow. okay. So if you want to, it just kind of depends on how special you want to be on your Valentine's Day. If you're more casual, we've got like Zips or the Gruff over in Covington. That's a great spot. Um, and then we've got all the way up to Soto. Um, and Mita's really fancy, nice, nice, show your love kind of local spots that we everybody loves to check out. I love that. So what are people going to find when they pick up um, this issue? I know it has some really good restaurants, but there's also some unique ideas. That's right. Everybody is wanting to find special ways to go out, different things that to do. We've got everything from axe throwing to the Bookless Book Club at the Mercantile Library to the after dark events at the Cincinnati Observatory. It's all about kind of thinking outside the box in terms of looking to places where you can find fun things to do. Like I noticed that you had a segment about the um, Museum Center has some new after dark events that they're doing. That yeah. would be a perfect date night. Okay. So anything that's a little bit different a little bit just, you know, not your typical dinner in a movie. That's a that's a good start. I know a lot of people just sometimes like to go out for drinks, um, maybe go visit a couple bars. Mm -hmm. Are there maybe some bars, some good little pop in shops? We are really lucky. We've got some really spectacular kinds of places in Cincinnati, like Blind Lemon in Mount Adams is an institution. It's great. It's dark. It's cozy. They've always got a fire going. It's one of those kind of classic places that people don't necessarily think about. Um, we've also got like Ghost Baby, which is a sort of prohibition and speakeasy kind of vibe. Um, Schwartz's Point, the jazz spot. I had never been. I've been in Cincinnati forever and we went a few months ago with friends and it was just an absolute blast. Tiny little spot, totally unobtrusive, never would think about it, but it was a, a great time. That's awesome. And even if you maybe are, we are talking about dates, but maybe you just want to go out with your girlfriends and celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, do you have ideas for those people as well? All Some of that. tips on dating? <laughs> Everything. Yes, we've got tips for dating. Oh, and um, we've got our breakfast for dinner. Um, that would be a great event like to go with your friends. Um, Everybody loves breakfast for dinner, but breakfast for dinner from Cincinnati Magazine style, we do it up. We have local restaurants participating. We have bands. There's a different musical experience. It's super, super fun. Um, check that out on our website and get tickets for that. I love it. And you guys also have Savor coming up too. We do. That's in April. Guys, it's so good. Mm -hmm. We have the, we, I've been two years now in a row and it's, it's awesome. It's one of the best events that we yeah. do. It's super fun. It's great because we've got two local chefs paired together. They're creating a tasting menu that you will never get at their restaurant. It's one night only. There's wine pairings. You sit down at a table with your friends and you meet new friends and it's just, it's an absolute blast. That's awesome. All right. Well, make sure guys, that you go pick up your Cincinnati love and romance in the Queen City magazine uh, on stands now. Gives you some great ideas, a great look through it. Amanda, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. We appreciate you taking the time. We're going to be back with a look at your forecast and those headlines after the break.